visual effects, art, or science, discuss the importance of both physics and artistry. Who wants to start? <laughs> I'll start. <laughs> it's like uh, peanut butter and jelly, Holly. I mean, you need both. No, uh, seriously, I mean, you know, uh, I think the best uh, artistry that uh, for me personally is when, uh, you know, the science and creativity blend together. And what's interesting about that is there are, you know, two different worlds in a lot of ways, but, you know, can you make it technically look good? Can you make it move correctly? Does it look right? Is light bouncing off of it correctly? All those sort of thoughts, all the science behind that, it's all important, but what will take you beyond just being a cog in a, in a production pipeline is then can you apply that with a creative heart? Can you apply that to a brief? Can you abstract it out? Can you make it have personality? Can you own it? I mean, there's something to be said for just knocking out photorealistic graphics and it's an amazing skill set and that's something that's needed. But in my world, what I'm always looking for, does somebody understand science, does somebody understand the technical side of how to make it look good? But much more beyond that, can they own it and can they add a point of view to it? Can they add a style to it? Can they add interest to it? Can they make it shape, can they shape it into the brief and, and uh, apply it in a way that's stunning and gets somebody's attention. Yep. Yeah, I would say that um, something I kind of learned along the way is that we tend to approach it as a craft versus an art where it becomes more the science-based kind of question. The idea of like building your tool set in a way to make it look correct, but the correct aspect is a very like artful thought process. You know, when you look at, if you're doing compositing work, and you're trying to make, you know, uh, you're trying to take somebody out of a scene that was walking in the background or a logo or something. It's very, it's, it's not a very like romantic viewpoint, but it becomes a conversation of, does my human eye see it and does it look right? And it becomes more of a conversation about light and the way like my, my brain looks at it and is it like feel right, you know, on, on this kind of level. When you move into motion graphics, it's obviously more in tune to the idea that it's an, you know, an artful response, but you know, without the technical tools to, you know, to accomplish what's in your head, and this, this is how I feel about all visual effects, you have something in your head that's more of romantic and art-driven, and the whole point of going to school and having experience and practice is a little less romantic, it's more building your science toolkits so that this way you can accomplish what's in your head on a romantic side, but you have the knowledge of how to actually translate it onto paper or screen for that matter. Yeah, I think, uh... I thought about this question before you asked it, and I, th I think that the art really comes from like the idea of what you're gonna create, and the science is just executing that plan so that it feels like what you created feels like it belongs and it doesn't stick out, and doesn't take the viewer like out of the story that you're trying to create, so I, I mean, that's, that's probably in its simplest terms, I think, what you, both what you guys were saying, you know, it's pretty much the same thing, but. Well, there's a big reason I get into. I got into what I do. I, I'm not a good designer like Nate and his company does amazing work. I know it looks real, and to make something look real, I feel is the art that I that I've found. Um, I've done graphics and stuff. I can get around it, but uh, I I really like to make things look real or hyper real, if you will. Um, one one note you'll always get from clients is make it orga more organic. I don't know how many times you've ever everybody's heard I hear it a million times. So. Think about that right now, and, and when you, in the future, when you get asked that, whenever you're using doing of graphics or anything, think about does this does this feel organic? Is it supposed to be organic? Does my client want it organic? <laughs> Is this water organic? <laughs>